Hi everyone. In this video, let us discuss about the chemistry of NSAIDs in easy way. We have so many types of drugs under the category of NSAIDs, but we can remember the chemistry of these NSAIDs in a logical and easy way. And today, let us see how one structure is going to be related with the another structure and how easily we can write the names of these compounds. So let us start our discussion with the aryl propanoic acid derivatives. This is one of the structure in this aryl propanoic acid derivative and this is the ibuprofen, the one of the well-known drug. And here the carboxylic acid is the principal functional group. So this is one, two, three. Now this is a propanoic acid derivative which is shown by the infix pro. This propanoic acid is attached with uh, a phenyl group at the second position. So the name of this ibuprofen can be written as 2 dash phenyl propanoic acid. So it's a 2 phenyl propanoic acid derivative. And to this phenyl group at the para position, one of the side chain is present. That side chain is nothing but the isobutyl side chain, or it can also be written as 4 dash 2 methyl propyl. This 2 methyl propyl is nothing but the isobutyl. So that's why the name is going to start with the three letters IBU. IBU indicates isobutyl group is present. So that is the ibuprofen. Ibuprofen is a 2-phenyl propanoic acid derivative and at the fourth position is having the isobutyl side chain. Second one, ketoprofen. Again, we can observe the similar structure in the ketoprofen. So it is again 2-phenyl propanoic acid derivative. But at the fourth position of this phenyl ring, a different side chain is present. What is the name of this side chain? That side chain is having the phenyl keto group which is nothing but the benzoyl. So we can write 4-benzoyl. So phenyl propanoic acid derivative with 4 benzoyl moiety is the ketoprofen. Next one is the fluorbiprofen. Again, the fluorbiprofen is the 2 phenyl propanoic acid derivative with different side chains. Again, it is having the fourth position phenyl group and third position is having the fluoro group. So 3 fluoro, 4 phenyl. These two groups are present on the phenyl propanoic acid moiety. So that is the fluorbiprofen. Next one is the Phenoprofen. The phenoprofen is again the 2 phenyl propanoic acid derivative. Fourth portion on the phenyl ring, a phenoxy group is present. So, 4 phenoxy. 4 phenoxy phenyl propanoic acid is nothing but the phenoprofen. Next one is a different uh, aryl propanoic acid derivative. This is the tiaprofenoic acid. And uh, even the ring is different, but we can easily write the name of this compound. Here again, the propanoic acid is the main chain which is attached with a heterocyclic ring system. What is the name of this heterocyclic ring system? This is nothing but the thiophene and we have to start the numbering from the sulfur. Then we can give the second portion to this carbon and fifth portion to this carbon. Now it can be written as 2 dash. This thiophene is attached by second portion to the second portion of the propanoic acid. So thiophene 2 ile propanoic acid. So this is the ring present, but at the fifth portion is having one side chain. That side chain is nothing but the benzoyl. So 5 benzoyl. That is the name of the tiaprofenic acid. Next one is the naproxen. So here again, naproxen is attached with the naphthal ring system. The numbering of the naphthal ring system should be started from this position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So here again, this naphthal group is attached to this propanoic acid by second position. So we can write 2 dash naphth 2 ile propanoic acid. But this naphthalene ring is having a methoxy group at the sixth position. So we can add 6 methoxy. So in this way, we can simply write the name of the naproxen. Next, let us see the aryl acetic acid derivatives. So, this is a well known drug. This is the diclofenac. And in this diclofenac, we can observe phenyl group is attached with an acetic acid. Again, the phenyl group is present at the second portion of this acetic acid. So, again, we can write this as phenyl acetic acid, which is where the phenyl group is attached by second portion. So, 2 phenyl acetic acid. And to this phenyl ring, in Amine group is attached along with a phenyl group. So phenyl group along with the amine can be called as enilino. So here it is an enilino group at the second position, which is further attached with the chlorine groups at the second and sixth positions. So we can write this as 2 dash 2 6 dichloro enilino. So 2 dash 2 6 dichloro enilino phenyl acetic acid is nothing but the diclofenac. So diclofenac is a phenyl acetic acid with the second portion 2,6-dichloro-elino group. Next one is the aciclofenac. Aciclofenac is a derivative of the diclofenac. You can see that in the diclofenac, phenyl acetic acid is there. 
But here this acetic acid moiety is further attached with the another acetic acid moiety. That's why acyclofenac is the carboxymethyl derivative of the diclofenac. So we can write a similar name 2 dash 2 2 6 dichloroalino phenyl acetic acid. Here this phenyl group is attached with the acetic acid through again a acetyl group which is attached through the oxygen. So acetyl oxy is nothing but the acetoxy. So within this gap we can write acetoxy. Now acyclofenac becomes phenyl acetoxy acetic acid because of the another acetyl group. Next one is the indomethacin. This indomethacin is again the acetic acid derivative which is having one of the heterocyclic ring system. So this is nothing but the indole. We can start the numbering from the nitrogen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the indole ring which is attached to the acetic acid at the second position by the third position. So we can write 2 dash. This indole group is attached by third position. So, so 1H indole 3 ail acetic acid. Then we can fill the name with the Side, other side chains. First portion is having the para chlorobenzoyl or 4 chlorobenzoyl, and fifth portion is having the methoxy, second portion methyl. We can arrange the side chains in the alphabetical order. So that is the name of the indomethacin. So indomethacin is a indole acetic acid derivative attached by third portion of the indole ring. Next one is the sulindac. Sulindac is having similar structure but it is not having the heteroatom but it follows the same naming. So again it is having the indine nucleus. So again it is 2 1H indine 3 ail acetic acid. So instead of the indole it is having the indine. And uh, if we see the side chains. Fifth position fluoro group is there 5 fluoro. And first position it is having a methyl group which is attached by double bond. So when it is attached by double bond we can write 1 methylidine. But this methylidine group is further attached with the end ring that we will fill later and second portion is having the methyl group. So this methylidine group is attached with a phenyl ring and this phenyl ring is having a fourth portion one of the group that is nothing but the methane sulfonyl group. So we can write this as 4 dash methane sulfonyl phenyl. So that is the name of the sulindac. Next one ketorolac. Ketorolac is not an acetic acid or a propanoic acid derivative but simply it is a carboxylic acid. This carboxylic acid is attached with a one of the ring system pyrolysin. We can start the numbering from this portion. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now it is a pyrolysin 1 carboxylic acid. So ketorolac can be written as 1H pyrolysin 1 carboxylic acid. And at the fifth portion it is having a side chain that is a benzoyl. So 5 benzoyl. And second and third portion actually should be unsaturated, but now it is saturated, so which is indicated by 2,3 dihydro. So 5 benzoyl, 2,3 dihydro, 1H pyrolysin, 1 carboxylic acid is nothing but the ketorolac. Next one is the para aminophenol derivatives. One of the well known drugs is the estaminophen, which is also called as paracetamol. So simply designing an estamide moiety which is attached with a phenyl group at the nitrogen so it's a n dash phenyl estamide but this phenyl group is having the four hydroxy group so n dash four hydroxy phenyl estamide is nothing but the estaminophen next one is the salicylic acid derivatives one of the well known drug is the aspirin aspirin is commonly known as acetyl salicylic acid but when we write the iupac name we can write this is the two acetyl oxy benzoic acid Next one is the phenamate derivatives. So this is one of the phenamate derivatives that is a mephenamic acid. Mephenamic acid is having a phenyl group with carboxylic acid at the first position and amino group at the second position. So it can be called as anthranilic acid derivative. Now this is the mephenamic acid. So second position is having an amino group. So 2 dash amino benzoic acid. So this 2 amino benzoic acid is nothing but the anthranilic acid. And now this uh, amine group is having the further side chain. Now we can start the numbering to this phenyl group at the point of attachment. 1, 2, 3. So it is having a 2, 3 dimethyl phenyl group at the nitrogen. So we can write this as 2, 3 dimethyl phenyl, which is attached to the amino group. 2, 3 dimethyl phenyl amino benzoic acid is nothing but the mephenamic acid. Next one is the Tolphenamic acid. In the tolphenamic acid, we can observe that one of the methyl group is replaced with the chlorine. Now we can write the same name like 2 dash amino benzoic acid. 
but again we can start the numbering one two three to the side chain so second position methyl and third position chloro but we have to arrange in the alphabetical order so three chloro two methyl phenyl amino benzoic acid so that is our toll phenomic acid next one is the pyrrolizin dione derivatives so this is one of the ring system this is a phenyl butazone so here the central hydrocyclic ring system is the pyrazolidin so we can start the numbering one two three four five so this is the pyrazolidin 3 5 dione and at the fourth position is having the butyl side chain and first and second position is having the phenyl groups which is represented as 1 2 diphenyl so 4 butyl 1 2 diphenyl pyrazolidin 3 5 dione that is nothing but the phenyl butazone similarly another structure is the oxyphenylbutazone which is having an additional OH group on one of the phenyl ring so again we can start the numbering like this so this is again the pyrazolidin 3 5 dione at the fourth position butyl group but other side chains are different second position is having a phenyl ring and first position is having the four hydroxy phenyl or para hydroxy phenyl that is the oxyphenbutazone next one is the phenyl alkanone derivatives so this is one of the phenyl alkanone this is the nabiometone and since it is not having any function group we have to consider the ketone as the principal function group so we can start the numbering one two three four so it can be considered as a butanone derivative. So this butanone chain is attached with a naphthal ring at the fourth position. So 4 dash naphthalene 2 aisle butanone because this naphthalene ring is attached by second position. Naphthalene 2 aisle butanone. And again this naphthalene ring is attached with a methoxy group at the sixth position. So 6 methoxy. So 4 dash 6 methoxy naphthalene 2 aisle butanone is the nabiometone. Nabiometone is having similar structure to the naproxen where the naproxen is a propanoic acid derivative but the nabiometone is a butanone derivative. Next is the oxycam derivatives. One of the drug is the pyroxicam. In the pyroxicam we, again we can observe one of the heterocyclic ring system. We can start the numbering here 1, 2, 3, 4. Now this is a benzothiazine ring which is having a amide moiety at the third position carboxamide. So we can write it as 1, 2 benzothiazine 3 carboxamide. And if we identify the further side chains, fourth position hydroxy and second position methyl group. First position sulfur is having the two oxo groups. So 1, 1 dioxo. So 4 hydroxy, 2 methyl, 1, 1 dioxo, 1, 2 benzothiazine 3 carboxamide. But this amide is having further side chain on the nitrogen, which is nothing but the ender hydrocyclic system, that is a pyridine, which is attached by second position. So we can write it as N dash pyridine 2 aisle. So that is the name of this pyroxicam. Next one, meloxicam. Meloxicam is having similar structure. So again, we can write this as 1, 2 benzothiazine, 3 carboxamide with 4 hydroxy and 2 methyl. 1 1 dioxo but what are the group on the nitrogen of the amide is somewhat different which is a heterocyclic ring system thiazole so we can start the numbering from sulfur 1 2 3 4 5 so on the nitrogen the thiazole is attached by second position so n dash 1 3 thiazole 2 aisle and this thiazole ring is having a methyl group at the fifth position so we can fill the gap with the 5 methyl so that is the name of the meloxic camp in this way, just comparing the different structures in the anisides, we can easily write the names of many of the anisides and we can remember their structures very easily. So that's about the chemistry of anisides. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends, post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.